All right, it's train time here in, in Seaman, Ohio. And Seaman is in the northern part of Adams County. We've got a population of 1,002 and comprises an area of slightly over one square mile. Here comes the train eastbound. Downtown Seaman, Ohio. Here we go. And there's a Seaman Life Squad by the way across the crossing. I thought they had a bell. Guess not. Approaching train, call your pike. Okay, that was pretty cool. Let's go catch it one more time here. Eastbound. Ah, oh, but wait, there's more. Of course, always is. Now I'm just outside of Seaman, Ohio. I'm just uh, a couple miles to the west of Seaman, Ohio. Came over here to get another shot of them. Just about got stuck in the mud over here. Look at this. I turned around and I backed over here and my truck just sunk. This is just nothing but muck. I sunk down about a foot. Look at this, look at, look at the big ruts I left. I thought I was gonna be calling a tow truck over here. Good thing I got four wheel drive. 
If it wasn't for four wheel drive, I'd be stuck right now. Look at that. I turned around and backed into this and just sunk. It's like quicksand. Wow, what a mess. That was a close one. You don't get stuck out here. This is pretty far out in the boondocks. Man, I'd have a hard time getting a tow truck out here. It'd take a while. But anyways, I got lucky. And the train's coming. So I'm going to be filming them one more time over here. Not sure what shot I want to get yet. Okay, everyone, stand by. I got more live action coming. Yeah, this truck's pretty good with the four wheel drive. Now, normally I have a shovel with me, shovel and some buckets in case I get stuck, because I have gotten stuck a few times. And I've always got myself out, luckily. I don't know how sometimes. But yeah, normally I'll have a shovel and buckets in the back over here, just for this kind of a situation. I got a bucket, you know, so you can put gravel in it and you can just shovel into the holes, dig some holes around the tires, dump gravel in, and then go back and forth to get out. But I left my shovel in the barn. I was digging some dirt near the barn a few days ago and I don't have my shovel with me. So this would have been a little bit of a situation. Yep, we had to get a tow truck over here. All right, I'm gonna go up the road here, up into the little town of La Chi. I just got bad karma at this spot, bad energy. Listen to mud coming off my truck. Listen to all that mud and crap just coming off of there. Whoo, I got lucky back there, son. Ah, <laughs> without the shovel, I would have needed the tow truck. Wow, feeling pretty good right now. I'm gonna go up here and get a better spot to film them. There's a few houses around and stuff. Okay, I'm in downtown La Chie right now. La Chie is in Adams County also. It's a small town. I couldn't find how many population it is. I was kind of curious about it myself. Didn't see anything. I checked, couldn't find anything on the population. But it's got a nice little cluster of houses here. And here comes the train. There's a conductor. That's the engineer's dad. He catches all the switches, um, derails, gates, all that stuff. He gets all that stuff. Couples, non couples of cars. They're picking up a car here.
I think they're going to run down that second track over there and pick up a car. That track is rusty. Not many trains use it, that passing track over there. They've got a lot of cars sitting in like a three to five year storage, but apparently they're picking one up. Okay, well, they're picking up a car east of me, and it's a spot that I can't really get over there to film it, so I'll just have to wait for them to come back and couple back onto the train. I was hoping to see them coming by me on the other track, but it's farther on up where they're doing the work. Okay, I'm over here at the Lawshe Cemetery right now, and this backs up to the tracks, so I'll at least be able to see them go by over here. All right, let's go over here, son. They're getting ready to come this way. See, if you look way down there, you can see some cars in storage. And if you look really close, you can see some color position lights. Ah, I don't know if I can, can't focus them in. Too much stuff in front. But here they come. I gotta get back a little bit kind of hard to film with all this junk just wanting to focus on all this stuff Four, we're gonna call it 20 clear back to the train the back all the way back to the train I'm trying to hold this thing out as far as I can because I don't want to step over there I don't want to get in the way but there's just too much stuff in the way sorry about that folks I'm trying to get you a good shot You can see the rest of the train way back there. They're gonna tie on. So they picked up one car here. 3512 gates are down. We'll get to tie. We'll see them come back by. Just can't get a good shot here. Too much vegetation. 3512. Too long to a tie. Alrighty. Woo! I'm hot now. I just made a little clearing. I broke a bunch of these dead branches right here so we can get a little better shot of the train. So, see, I had to walk through this stuff. So, if I reach out, I can get a good, decent shot, I think. Here we go. This is about as far as I can reach. Ah, trying to get the shot. Here it is. This would be a good train, too. they got the first covered hopper the tank car came from Mount Zion there was some stories there the rest of these cars are going to Plum Run Bowl of Rock Quarry Hanson Quarry I broke a bunch of those branches so you can see the train. Otherwise, you're going to be able to see it.
There she goes. Headed towards Peebles. That looks cool. See now, if you were on the other side, you'd be shooting straight into the sun. You can't do that. Oh man, I'm burning up. The humidity is terrible. Plus we got storms coming in again. I got the air conditioner running now. Just now coming out of the cemetery is back a little lane off of this lane. You don't even know it's there unless you're from around this area. It's pretty out here, but this is the boondocks. Where I live at, I live in the country. I'm on the edge of the boonies. You get out just a few miles past my house, then you're in the real boondocks. You got here in Adams County, Ohio. This is the boonies out here. Okay, here we are coming into downtown Lawshee. Let's head over to Peebles. Okay, but wait, there's more. Gotta say that. Hey, I'm in downtown Peebles now. Population 2,172 and comprised an area of 1.18 square miles. It's in Adams County. And here comes the train. Gonna be going right by the newest customer here, McCoy Lumber Company. I've got one video showing them setting some cars off on their siding over there to load railroad ties, untreated railroad ties. They ship out from there. Flashers are going. So are the cars. Train's way down there, though. No big deal. Just creeping through town. Here she comes. Post 72 right here. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Go give me a thumbs up and all that stuff. Subscribe if you haven't done so. If you have time, watch another video. Every view really helps my channel, helps pay for that gas.
the ads that YouTube puts on here and the viewing time. The longer you watch a video, then the more the ads. Pay. It's kind of complicated to explain, but the ad time and the um, the ads and the viewing time are what pays the gas. Thanks for watching, everyone. Here we are in downtown Peebles, Ohio. Got Norfie and Chessie coming up. Yeah, but